Perfect Patty Shapers, and we're gonna make another crush burger. And the reason why is we wanna show you the variety that you get to do with, uh, you know, these products. Uh, and just uh, making this kind of stuff at home instead of going out because you're really gonna get high quality, what I call restaurant quality food for your family. So we're gonna do something really cool is this was a uh, product that we were uh, given away. We liked it so much that, uh, you know, we've got our own here. And today we're gonna make fresh burgers that are actually using a chuck roast. And then we're gonna put some ingredients in there. We're gonna put some onion powder. We're gonna put some uh, garlic powder. Of course, that's gotta be in everything with what I cook. And then we're gonna put some uh, ground yellow mustard in there, and that really brings out the flavor of the meat. So without, I mean, let's, let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna go ahead and fire this up. It's gonna be a little noisy, uh, so you might wanna put some earplugs on, but you'll actually get to see. We're also using a real fine um, head on here that's gonna you know, bring this meat out, and it's actually gonna come out in columns. And the reason why you want that to have these columns is that a lot of people don't understand that a lot of the big meat companies or, or, or hamburger companies do these columns so that when you put it into a mold and you crush it down, it actually locks in all the juices and flavors when that meat is cooking. And I'll show you a little bit as we uh, grind some out. Okay, this is the columns of meat I'm talking about. It's, it's really cool. And so we're gonna try to get those columns upright the best that we can. And then we're gonna put them in this mold. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do a little bit of uh, seasoning right now. I'm gonna back that off a little bit. And now I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of that garlic powder. Are you just kind of putting it in to taste? Uh, that is correct. Yeah, I'm just uh, putting in what I feel like is going to give us the right flavor. It's just a little bit of a dash here and a dash there. And now I'm going to put in the uh, ground mustard. Same thing. Obviously, uh, we've made a few of these, so we've, we've got a pretty good idea about what that is. So now I'm just going to mix that around a little bit. You can see that this meat is really airy. So when I put this in here uh, right now, and I'm gonna throw some in here. Put a little bit in here. Uh, this Perfect Patty Shaper uh, Crush Burger Mold lets you do three of these so that uh, you, you know, you, you're not wasting a lot of time uh, trying to make these small little sliders if you will in um, one at a time so there we go now I'm going to take this plunger and I'm going to crush it down I'm going to crush it down I'm going to crush it down don't worry about all the sizes um, if you're like me I I'm very uh, I'm very picky so I want these to be the you know, perfect size. So I'll throw a little more in there. And we'll make them. We'll make one of them. So you know, you can do it any way you want, uh, because once you crush them, <laughs> you're not going to know the difference. But you know, it's the principle. It's the principle of the thing here. So get them down. Okay, that's looking really, looking really good. If you've watched some of our other videos, you know that. Um, when you're using this product, you're going to basically just push these right out of the mold. Look at those, man. Those are awesome looking. 
I cannot wait to get these babies on the grill. So if you watch our other video on doing um, these crush burgers, is that I always throw them on the grill. Make sure that grill's good and hot. Sizzling. And what I do to make it a lot easier is you let that cook just a little bit. And then I'm going to flip it over. And the reason I'm going to do that is because now when I go to crush these, my spatula is not going to be sticking to the burger. So I'll flip that one over. I'll flip this one over. I'll flip this one over. Then I can already smell that garlic and that onion. That's really great stuff. And then uh, here we go. I like to make these really thin. Uh, it's, it's amazing how these things taste. So, and then we get one started there. That's one. Oh yeah, that's looking good. I got one that I went a little crazy on there, but and I will let these babies start cooking. And then everything else still applies. So I'll fix this one up a little bit. Okay, so uh, now the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and add our salt. We're gonna add a lot of pepper. And now, uh, just like in our other video, you, you can really see the liquid now. And look how well it's turning, already starting to turn clear. And that means that that burger is cooking, you know, through right away. And it's because of all those columns, uh, allows that meat to cook just a lot faster because you got all that heated liquid inside the uh, meat. And it's just going to cook, you know, twice as fast as if it was if you've got all that meat uh, crushed together. Uh, you know, it, it can't breathe. You know, you always hear a lot of the other chefs saying, you know, don't. Don't, you know, squeeze that patty too hard. That's the whole idea. But, but nobody really tells you about how the big companies do it. They use that, that tender fill and they put hundreds of columns of meat into that mold and, and actually, you know, with about 1,000 to 2,000 pounds of pressure, push that together. When you break this burger apart, you'll be able to see the columns in it. So. I'm going to go ahead and flip these. Look at that. Oh my, that looks, that looks really delicious. I can't wait to get this. And so, uh, after these burgers cook, um, in fact, I'm going to have to throw another one on here because I've got a, uh, I've got a friend that's going to have one of these burgers with me. So we'll, we'll get another one started. Uh, but after we get this cooked, then we're going to uh, try a couple of different cheeses on here. What we're going to do is what I call a double cheeseburger. So we'll put cheddar, and then we're going to we're going to pick up another uh, cheese, and I'll let I'll let my friend Rod tell you what kind of cheese that is. Yeah, you're going to use Jarlsberg, which it has a mellow and nutty kind of flavor. So what what will that do for the burger? Well, uh, you know, obviously, you know, you get a blend of uh, flavors, uh, and I just think that it kind of enhances the burger experience. So uh, everybody has a different different taste. This is one of the first times that we're actually going to try this. So I'm uh, 
or this this particular cheese. So I'm kind of excited to. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm actually kind of excited to see you know, what it's actually going to do for the flavor of the burger. So we're going to keep making these, and we're going to continue to, uh, you know, give you some some good tips and let you know, uh, you know, in our opinion, if if some of these cheeses are are uh, going to be something you you've got to try, or um, if. Uh, uh, you know, it, it doesn't it doesn't meet our taste test. Well, that was a real nice one. Okay. So now we got this other one. This is going to be this is going to be done. So uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna move some of this out of the way and actually get ready to start plating. Get ready to start plating some of this stuff. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put this bun over here. Yeah, that's a brioche bun you got today, right? Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, one of my favorites. Yeah, okay, the buttery. So, mm. Oh, yeah. So now I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to add this onto this burger and give it a give it a chance to... I like the triangles on there. On that Yarlsberg. Okay. Look at that. We're going to let those heat up. And... Uh, Well, you know, the people would really wish we had smell a vision right now. Oh, man. You know, uh, something I uh, need to do again is make sure that I, you know, be, be generous with that salt. Um, and we're going to be doing, we're actually going to be doing some different salts that have some, some really good, you know, properties, but, you know, more minerals and things like that. So, wow, look at the way that that cheese is melting on there. Yeah. That looks really good. I'm... <laughs> I'm thinking that uh, we might have knocked one out of the park with this. I'm going to go ahead and flip this over. You can see. See how fast those are cooking? And now uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to plate these. That's going to go on right there. Wow. How about that? Okay. So... Now I'm going to go ahead and uh, add a couple of the touches to it. We're just going to put a dab of uh, mustard. And uh, everybody knows that uh, mayo is one of my favorite. So I'm going to kind of put it on there hearty. We got that one ready to go. Now we're going to go ahead. We're going to put some of this thin cheddar on here but that start to cook up yeah we're actually using a sharp cheddar today and uh we're gonna put all kinds of uh goodies on there that's melting in real nice uh, i'm gonna flip this one more time get that going and uh this is gonna be a pretty big uh this is gonna be a pretty big taste here so now i'm gonna grab one of these a nice may you know piece of tomato and uh this baby's ready to go you know what i i think you might have picked it i think you might have picked the right cheese that that looks incredible okay now we're gonna put this on there and now we're gonna do the exact same thing i'm gonna put a uh, tomato one piece of lettuce and then um we're gonna do the exact same thing. Put a little bit of mustard. I'm gonna spread that around just a little bit so all of that flavor is throughout the uh, throughout the uh, consumption. And you always want to make sure too your buns are toasted. Oh yeah, yeah, they <laughs> they look uh, great. Everything here looks amazing. Now uh, I'm gonna put a little mayo on here. Does that does that sound good to you? Perfect. We'll let that one we'll let that one crush in when you get ready to crush into that burger okay and so now we're gonna go ahead and throw this baby on here then we're gonna put this here 
Oh, no. Uh, and now we're we're really ready for the, we're really ready for the taste test. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna taste the one that I thought was gonna be the one with the best cheese. And uh, this is the Jarlsberg, right? Right. And then I'm going to let uh, my friend Ra try the one that that she thought was gonna be the best. Oh wow. The onion powder mixed with that garlic and that mustard really, really took center stage on that burger. I really enjoyed it. So now, I don't want to stop eating that, but I'm going to because it's not fair. So I'm going to uh, spin this around and let somebody else give it a try. Okay, Ra, <laughs> your turn. Okay, nice. Wow. That's amazing. Okay. But there are benefits to being the camera person. Okay, now you need to take a bite of the one that has the uh, Yarrowsboro on it. That's good. I've never had that cheese before. That's really good. So, I think that um, maybe we ought to finish this up. It's my turn. <laughs> it's my turn to do the. Uh, it's my turn to do the cheddar. And let's see. This really isn't fair eating in front of everybody. No, it's but not. But everybody's got to give this a try. It's not, but, you know, that's the whole idea here, right? <laughs> Is to get the burpee patty shaper and uh, make sure that uh, you're making some of um, restaurant quality food like this and be able to uh, enjoy it with family and friends. So we're going to finish these up. I'm going to grind the rest of this meat, and we're going to make a, a bunch more of this. Um like us on Facebook. Make sure that you subs subscribe on YouTube and uh, let us know what you think about uh, this particular Crush Burger. And um, we hope to see you, I don't know, in a day or two. And we might, uh, we might do a bacon Crush Burger. So that's the beauty of having your own grinder, uh, your own molds, and to be able to do the things that you want to do are the things that you're you're kind of craving for that particular day so thumbs up <laughs>